Good day. Today we will be demonstrating the proper way of application of long arm posterior mold. Long arm posterior mold will be very useful in certain situations like when you are about to transport the patient to a hospital facility or when you are awaiting for definitive treatment for the patient. So this is a temporary immobilization for injuries along the wrist area, along the forearm area, along the elbow, as well as the distal arm area. You can apply this long arm posterior mold with your elbow in flexion or in extension as well as you can apply it with your wrist in extension or flexion and you can apply it with your wrist in neutral rotation, in supination or in pronation. For the long arm posterior mold, these are the materials that we will need. We will start this procedure by measuring the adequate length of the stockinette needed. So the stockinette should be around 2 to 3 inches distal to your fingers and up to the level of the shoulder area. After cutting, we will roll this inward for the convenience of the patient. We will then make a small slit along the area of the scaphoid, the wrist area, for this to be the hole for which we can expose the thumb area. We will make a small hole for the thumb area and we will start by applying wadding sheet along the wrist area, going proximally with a 50% overlap of the wadding sheet. Add wadding sheet as needed, making sure that there is enough padding along the elbow area to prevent pressure sores. We will now determine the length of the cast that is needed for this patient. Uh, we will use this wadding sheet as a template for our leg. And we will measure along the metacarpal area up to the distal arm area or the supracondylar area. To activate this plaster of Paris, we need to dip it in water, making sure that all the bubbles have dissipated and that will tell us that enough water has seeped through this plaster of Paris. Okay? Once all the bubbles have dissipated, you let it drip. Don't squeeze too much or the materials will also fall off. We will now roll this over to our prepared wadding sheet, making sure that we have around 8 to 10 rolls. After that, we cover this with our prepared wadding sheet again, and then we apply it to our patient. We will now place this with our patient to our patient and ask our assistant to hold on to the proximal end. Start again with application over the wrist area. For this initial application of elastic bandage, we want to apply it a little bit tighter than normal so that the plaster of Paris will mold over the patient.
after that we just wait for this to set and harden up after this bolt has already set remove this initial elastic bandage ask your assistant to hold on to your hold and then adjust your stocking net over the ends of your mold So we are now ready to reapply our elastic bandage. This step does not anymore require you to apply the elastic bandage in a tight manner. Just place it as comfortably as possible for the patient. The only purpose now of this elastic bandage is for your mold not to fall off. Secure it with a pin or the adhesive and that is the proper application of a long arm posterior mold.